Hey Galaxy users, welcome back to the channel. If you find customizing your phone and making it truly yours, then you're gonna love today's video. We're diving into 10 super useful good luck features that take your Galaxy home screen and usability to the next level. From adding custom text to powerful gesture settings and more. Whether you're a productivity pro or just a clean aesthetic setup, these tips are for you. So let's jump in. So the very first feature is DIY home screen. So you can customize your home screen layout, wallpaper, icon style, and widgets to your liking. So here's an example. If you have a round wallpaper, you can go ahead and add all these icons around the round feature. Or if you have a rainbow icon, you can go ahead and relocate your icons anywhere you like on screen. With this DIY home screen, you can even add emojis, you can add shapes, and also you can add these avatars. So you can personalize your device to match your style and make important info easily accessible. So let me show you how you can customize your home screen using DIY home screen. So for this, you'll need to go into Galaxy Store, search for Galaxy Store. Here you need to go ahead and download another app called Good Lock. Search for Good Lock. Go ahead and install this app and then open it. Now in the app itself, you'll need to go ahead and open up another app called Home Up. So scroll down, find Home Up. Now go ahead and turn this feature on and then tap on Home Screen. Turn that feature on as well. Find DIY Home Screen and go ahead and turn this feature on. So now once you do this, go ahead and long press anywhere on an empty space. Tap on DIY Home at the top right. And then now you can go ahead and customize your home screen. So here you can go ahead and resize your icons. You can basically change the rotation. You can move it anywhere you like. At the bottom here, you can go ahead and add avatars. You can add stickers. You can add shapes. You can add these. You can go ahead and add a few arrows. If you swipe all the way left, you can go ahead and add stickers, text, and emojis as well. And once you're done, you can go ahead and tap on home and then your DIY home screen has been made for you to use. So be aware though, while using DIY home screen, you can also mess it up like I did over here. So you really need to have some patience and need to work your way through this. If you wanna turn off the DIY home screen as you've messed it up, you can go ahead and bring up the Good Lock app. From here, go ahead and open up the Home App app. Go ahead and tap on home screen, find DIY home screen and turn this feature off. Then press home and then your home screen will then come back to normal. Now the next feature, which is feature number two, is where you can add text on your home screen. So if you wanna add some text to your home screen, like maybe important dates or maybe a shopping list or maybe something which basically reminds you to be happy, like some inspiration codes, then let me show you how to do this. So again, for this, you'll need to go ahead and open up the Galaxy Store. Here you're looking for the following app called Good Lock. Go ahead and install this and then open it. Now in the app, you're looking for another app called Home Up. Go ahead and turn this feature on, go to Home Screen. Go ahead and turn on DIY Home Screen. Turn this feature on, press Home, and now you'll be able to customize your home screen. However, you want to add a text, so go ahead and long press on any home screen, tap DIY home. From the bottom here, tap on the plus sign. From here, go ahead and swipe all the way left until you see the T icon, tap on this. Now go ahead and tap on any font from here, and then go ahead and write your message. Go ahead and move it wherever you like. You can go ahead and change the color if you like as well. You can make it larger. You can change the transparency, you can change the font. And once you're done, press home. And now you've add a text to your home screen. So as I said before, the benefit of this is it's handy for reminders, for motivational quotes, or organizing your screen layout. Now feature number three is your gesture animation settings. In your Samsung phone, you can basically adjust the animation settings. So you basically adjust how the gestures and animations behave when you navigate your device. So for this, you need to go ahead and switch this navigation bar to a gesture swipe. So first we're gonna go do that. So go ahead and open up your settings. From here, scroll down until you see display, then find navigation bar. Go 
Now from here, you want to go ahead and switch this from buttons to swipe gesture. So now the navigation bar has disappeared and now to go to home, you just swipe. Next, you want to go ahead and open up your Galaxy Store. Search for good luck. Install this app and then open it. Then go ahead and find home up. Turn this feature on and then go ahead and find gesture settings. From here, you want to go ahead and find home gesture animation tuning. Turn this feature on and tap on this. And now you have a choice from classic to suite. So you can go ahead and choose the animation that you require. So let's say classic. So when we choose an app, you can see the animation. If we choose suite, you can see the animation is more smooth and more subtle. If you look down here, you have a choice of emotionally and fast animation. So you can go ahead and choose what you like. So if you do emotionally, you can see that again, it's more subtle and slow. However, if you do fast, you can see the animation is more quicker and more abrupt. So this basically allows you for smoother, faster navigation, or it adds stars depending on your preference. Now, feature number four is where you can basically save all your notifications. So you can access the notification history to view past notifications, even after dismissing it, or even if the other person maybe has deleted it. So the benefit of this is that you never miss important alerts or messages again, even if you clear them by mistake. So let me show you how to turn this feature on. So first you wanna go ahead and open up your Galaxy Store. In the Galaxy Store, you wanna go ahead and search for good luck. Go ahead and open this app. In the app, you're looking for something else called Noti Star. Go ahead and turn this feature on. And now when you look at your lock screen, you have this arrow here, which basically looks like an arrow pointing upwards. So to look at your notification history, you can go ahead and use that arrow, swipe up, unlock your phone, and then you can go ahead and see all your notification history. So as an example here, I'll go ahead and lock the phone. I'll send a notification. And let's just say for an example, that other person now has deleted that notification. So now, as you can see, I have two notifications, but I can go ahead and press on this up arrow here. I'll go ahead and enter in my pin code. And now, as you can see, this person has basically sent me all these notifications and he has deleted this one. So as you can see here, you are a loser, GGGY. And if you look at that message, which was deleted, it was this one here. Now, feature number five is where you can delete your screenshots. So when you take a screenshot on your Samsung device, as you can see, maybe you accidentally took a screenshot, you don't have a delete button. So that screenshot will be saved into your gallery. And by using your phone, you basically take numerous screenshots and you want to delete it. So let me show you how you can add a delete button to delete a screenshot when you don't need it. So this feature basically allows you to quickly access and delete screenshots from your home screen without accessing your gallery app. So to do this, you wanna go ahead and open up your Galaxy Store, search for good luck, open that app. In this app, you're looking for another app called Nice Shot. Go ahead and install this app, open the Nice Shot app, and then go ahead and find the Add Delete button. Go ahead and turn this feature on. So now press Home. Now when you take a screenshot accidentally, you have a delete button here. So you can go ahead and press the delete button and that image will then be deleted. Again, as a recap, I'll take a screenshot and then you have a delete button. Press delete and that screenshot will be deleted from your phone. Feature number six is where you can basically close all the apps except for one. So say for example, you have so many apps open here. However, you want to leave one app open. So for example, the mode and routines app and you want to close everything. Then let me show you how to do this. So first go ahead and open up the app switcher. Next, go ahead and choose what app you want to leave on. So for example, let's say the store app, I want to leave that on. So I'll go ahead and tap on store and then I'll go ahead and tap on keep open. Now you'll notice a lock icon here, which has appeared next to the store app. Now go ahead and tap on close all. And now when you open up the app switcher, you'll see that store app is still open as we have set it to keep open while we close all the apps. Feature number seven is where you can add up to nine apps to your home screen dock. So as you can see, currently you have five apps here. However, you can go ahead and add 
a total of nine maximum apps onto your dock. With the update of One UI, now it allows adding more apps, so up to nine, to your bottom dock. This basically gives you quicker access to your most used apps, improving multitasking. So to do this, go ahead and open up the Galaxy Store, search for Good Lock, open that app. Now from here, you wanna go ahead and find the Home Up app. Go ahead and turn this feature on. Go ahead and tap on Home Screen. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down and where it says Favorite Max Count, tap on this, and then go ahead and change this to nine, apply it, press Home. Now you wanna go ahead and drag the apps and add it to your favorite bar. And as you can see, once you start pulling it down, it'll make space and you can add a maximum of nine apps to your dock. Now feature number nine is where you can basically remove this dock here. So for those of you who don't like to see this dock here at the bottom, you have the option to hide the dock on your home screen. So this basically offers a cleaner look and more room for widgets or app icons. So to do this, you wanna go ahead and open up the Galaxy Store. Here you're looking for the Good Lock app. Go ahead and open it. Now in the Good Lock app, you're looking for another app called Home Up. Open it. Go ahead and turn this feature on, then tap on Home Screen. Now scroll down and where it says Show Favorite, go ahead and turn this feature off and now press Home and now your dock has disappeared from the bottom. The benefit of this is basically it offers a cleaner look and more room for widgets and app icons. Now feature number nine is where you can access the finder on your home screen. So when you swipe down on your home screen, your notification panel opens up. However, you can go ahead and swipe down on the home screen to search for apps, files, and settings. So basically you can find everything. This basically speeds up finding anything on your phone in seconds. So first you wanna go ahead and open up the Galaxy Store. From here, you wanna go ahead and find the Good Lock app, open that app. Next, you wanna go ahead and find the Home Up app. Here, you wanna go ahead and turn this feature on, tap on Home Screen, go ahead and scroll down, and where it says Finder Access, tap on this. From here, you can go ahead and tap on Home Screen, press Apply, and press Home. So now when you swipe down, you can basically search for anything on your phone. So you can search for apps, files, and settings by just swiping down directly. Now the last feature which I wanna talk about is the app switcher. So with this, you can access and switch between recently used apps with the gesture-based or button-based app switcher. However, there is a twist as you can change this app switcher to different styles which are available on the Good Lock app. So let me show you how to find this. So first you wanna go ahead and open up the Galaxy Store, find the Good Lock app, open that. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down until you see Home Up. Go ahead and turn this feature on, find task changer, tap on this. And now you have a choice of a tilt stack, which looks like that, which is your normal way. Then you have a choice of grid. So this is how it looks like. You have a vertical list. So this is how it will look like. Or you have a slim list. So more of a minimalistic look. Now, if you choose the vertical list, you can also do a circular list. So it'll appear like a circle if I open up the app switcher, you'll see that it is going in a circle form. If I turn off the circular list, you'll see that it just goes up and down straight. And that's a wrap on 10 awesome good lock features every Galaxy user should try. Which one are you going to try first? DIY home screen or the handy speed dial trick? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you found this helpful, then don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss more Galaxy tips and tricks and updates. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay techy, stay awesome.